there, my name is Nicole. Welcome to the Pine Cottage. This is my October update. If you are new here, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. This is my knitting podcast where I talk about all the things I've been working on and what I've completed and my plans for the future and just where I chat about things that I'm making because I don't have friends who knit in real life. I have fuzz. Sorry. If you joined me a couple weeks ago, I did a video on my dive into color work. It was my first real attempt at giving it a shot and I enjoyed it. I usually post videos of something knitting related like mid-month and then I do an update at the end of the month and that's kind of my routine. But I did not do an update at the end of September because I had done an extra video on like a project video where I showed my process from beginning to end and that was like a third video in a month and so I just took a little bit of a break because I felt like I wasn't able to show you guys enough progress for it to be interesting. So let me know if you have any ideas of things that you would like for me to talk about or to show. I'm considering doing videos a little bit more often than every two weeks, depending. So I don't know if there's interest in that or what you would like to see. I know I'm definitely planning to do more frequent videos in the month of December. I'm not going to do Vlogmas. A lot of people will do daily videos, vlogs of their life and knitting um, through the month of December. I am not going to be posting a video every day, but I would like to do Advent Sundays where I post a video every Sunday during the month of December to kind of update you on what's going on during that holiday period. That time's always just so cozy and exciting and there's lots of making going on and just whether it's baking in the kitchen or wrapping gifts or opening advent calendars, playing with new yarn, knitting, of course, spending time with family. There's just always so much joy and coziness in the month of December that I thought it would be fun to post weekly about what's going on here. I might carry that on through into January, so let me know if you have any ideas or things that you would like me to talk about or show, and I will definitely consider it. While I'm talking about the channel, I just wanted to say thank you for those of you who found my Ko-Fi link that I posted in the description box. A couple of you have contributed, and I just wanted to say thank you for buying me a cup of tea. It is greatly appreciated. I do this because I love to do it, and when you guys watch and you leave comments, it helps me to know that you enjoy watching it. So the Ko-Fi contribution was just icing on the cake, and I really appreciate the support. I want to talk about the elephant in the room, which is my no frills sweater. I finished it finally. I don't know why it took me so long. I think because if you remember, if you've been here for a little while, I ran out of yarn and I had to order more. And when that happened, it just, I lost my momentum. And once I, the new yarn came, I was already kind of into the next project. And so I didn't ever feel like picking this one up again and just was sitting there and haunting me. Finally, I just had to bite the bullet and say, Nicole, you need to finish that sweater. And so I did. I knit this in Knit Picks Swish DK in the colorway Nutmeg Heather. I did not really make any modifications. I knit the size four. I measured for the size three, but having failed at so many attempts, at garment knitting for myself because I'm a tight knitter and nothing was fitting me. Everything was too small. I learned my lesson and I knit a size up. I probably could have went up a needle size, um, but I didn't and I ended up just knitting a size bigger and it, and it works out. I did add on the sleeves, it tells you to do you know a certain number of decreases and then to start your ribbing. And it wasn't long enough for my arms. Um, so I added about 15 rounds after the decreases before I started my cuff. And that seemed seems to be the perfect length for me. I like how the collar fits. I like my raglan decreases. I don't have full length 
video to show you um, all the way, but it is not like super form fitting. I will say because I went up a uh, size that there's a lot of room here because my bust is not as large as the sweater. <laughs> but I don't mind the oversized -ness. What am I trying to say? I don't mind that it's oversized there. I don't mind the extra fabric here that goes all the way down because I like, I wanted it to feel like a sweatshirt. So um, I'm pleased with how it turned out and I just have to be careful now that I do not shrink it when I wash it. And I think I'm going to avoid that just by not putting it in the washing machine. If you remember, I knit the Monday Junior sweater by Petite Knit for my son last year and I did throw it in the wash and it ended up in the dryer. I don't know how. That happened I just was multitasking I guess which I shouldn't do and I shrunk it so I'm just going to avoid that completely by just hand washing my knits so I feel pretty pleased with myself that uh, this is finished and I love it so much and I'm able to like pull the sleeves over and just be cozy and yeah so it's that that is my first finished object I also wanted to finish some single socks that I had to make pairs and so I have three more finished objects to show you. This is the first one. This is a pair of socks that's going in my gift knitting pile for the holidays and this is in Q Logo yarn. Emerald Fields is the main colorway here, and the contrasting color is ochre. And somebody asked me, again, what my sock recipe is, and it pretty much stays the same, but if you want details about that, you can watch the sock pattern video that I posted. I talk a lot about my recipe, but pretty much I have, you know, a certain number that I like to do for the leg, um, cuff. I always do a slip stitch heel flap and gusset. That's just what I prefer. Your foot is going to depend on the size of the foot that you're knitting for. And then I just do a normal decrease and then I catch near the toe. So, you know, it's all personal preference when it comes to how long you like your cuff or your leg. And when I'm knitting for myself, I prefer a 20 round cuff and like a 70 to a 75 round leg. So that's all. That's all I know. And then these ends are not woven in, so I'm just going to tuck them in and pretend like you don't see them because this is another pair of socks that's going to go into my gifting drawer. And this is a sock set by Farmer's Daughter Fibers. It was one of the months for the Sock Squad subscription and I don't remember the name of the colorway but they're very cute. I decided to just do contrasting cuffs and toes and it's another pair done and again just a plain sock. I didn't do a pattern or anything I just did a plain sock. This next one is one that I didn't even have started. I didn't even have one sock done. It wasn't something that I was like, oh yeah, I think I need a second sock. It, it was just a whim because it was Halloween time. Halloween is tomorrow and I wanted a spooky colorway. Kay Litton from A Crazy Sock Lady was doing a crazy spooky sock mal make along i thought oh this would be great for that because it's just kind of spooky colors and so i just knit a pair of socks like you know like i can just knit one up in a couple days that's totally not me but i did this in about a week and surprised myself not like i didn't have other things that i was supposed to be knitting but i just felt like knitting it so i did and isn't that what knitting is really about anyway just knitting what makes you happy so I did, and these are also going to go in my sock gifting drawer. So I now have, I believe, one, two, three, four, five 
pairs of socks to gift. I have several more to make. but I'm almost finished. So tomorrow's Halloween, November 1st is my dad's 70th birthday and I make him a pair of socks every year. And this is his birthday sock this year. So this is my first whip. I'm planning to finish this sock tonight. So those will be his birthday socks. And this yarn is, well, the, the contrasting cuffs, heels, and toes are Patton's Croy in the colorway Gentry. And this is a self-striping yarn here by Knitterly Things. I purchased this at the Great Lakes Fiber Festival here in Ohio this year in May. And I don't remember what the colorway name is, but I saw it and I fell in love with it. So this or these are his birthday socks this year. The only other whip that I have going is the scarf, the garter stitch scarf that I started that I will also be giving as a gift this season. And this is in Lion Brand Wool Ease. And this is the colorway Wheat and it has little flecks of brown and black in it. And so it's knitting up to look like this. And I, I'll show you kind of how far down I've gotten. Quite a ways. I need to knit 50 to 60 inches. Um, I was just going to make it a normal scarf that you can just wrap around. However, Francesca from an Italian knitter. I love her. She released this pattern. It is a free pattern called an Italian autumn cowl. And I love it. And I'm actually going to knit one of those after I'm finished with this. But the reason I bring it up is because she, it's very similar to what I'm doing, but it has yarn overs for the little holes. So then at the end, she seams it together to make it a cowl. So I'm just going to follow her instructions on how she seamed her pattern together at the end to do the same thing for this, to make this a cowl, because I think that will be nice. And then when I'm done with this, I just hit myself in the nose with my needle. When I'm done with this one, I think I am going to start um, her pattern because I want to make that cowl. And I have not decided yet if it's going to be for me or if I'm going to give it as a gift. Probably should give it as a gift, but I might just keep it. So we'll see because I have some yarn in my stash that is kind of a natural color like this, but it is acrylic cotton blend. Um, so I know it won't itch my neck and I don't plan on using it for a sweater. So I think it will be nice for a cowl. And it'll be machine washable if I do give it as a gift, which I think people appreciate. I usually only give like wool hand wash things to certain people that I know won't mind hand washing them. Like my mom, my mom, and my mom. <laughs> I want during the month of November to start on that Felix sweater I talked about making, and that is going to be in this Knit Picks City Tweed. And this is the colorway Blue Blood. And so in the month of November, I'm gonna be making a Felix pullover out of this. It's pretty. I love tweed. I love the little flex. And there's blacks and browns and creams in this, so it can go with a lot of things. November is going to look like a Felix and some more socks, in case you're wondering.
gosh, you guys, I talked about how I was going to stop purchasing yarn for a while. And I did stop for a while, but then I couldn't help myself. I think it's the autumn weather. It just makes me, I see all the colors, the autumn, it's just my favorite time. This October, November, December, it's my favorite time of the whole year. And I just, I loved too many things. So I do have some acquisitions to show you. And I actually have two that are supposed to be arriving today. I wonder if they're here. I should go grab them so I can show you. Oh yes, one has been delivered. Time out. Let me run to the mailbox and I'll be back. I'm back. I went to the mailbox because the last two things that I was waiting for arrived today. Perfect timing. So I wanted to show you all of the acquisitions. There are quite a few. And actually, it's not true, it's not all of them. I did order a project bag that will be coming, so I'll have to show you in November. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to show is uh, three skeins of hand dyed yarn by Josh at Red Stag Fiber. He contacted me and asked if he could bless me with some yarn and I said wow absolutely thank you so much I would love to try your yarn because I had never tried it before. And he sent me these three skeins of this beautiful yarn along with this little guy, <laughs> this little stag. So his company is Red Stag Fiber, and he is on Instagram. If you would like to follow him. This colorway here is called Candlestick, which I think is very appropriate. This color is Purple Clover, and this color is Antique Rose. They are all very beautiful and I think that I will make socks but I'm tempted almost to do like a sweater with a main color like this and then stripes. I think that be my, I think that might be nice. Don't you think that might be that might be pretty? And it's not, you know, it could go either way like I feel like this color is kind of springy but these two are kind of autumn so it could transition it could be a great weather temperature transition piece if I did it like a short sleeved pullover striped I'm gonna think some more on that but what would you think of that I just think that that's really pretty so thank you Josh and these are all I should have said um, no, they're not all on the same base. These two are his cottage sock base, which is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And this one is in his Duchess sock base, which is 70% superwash merino, 20% yak, and 10% nylon. But I might still use them all together. So, that was very nice. Thank you. The next thing... I don't remember if I told you guys about this, but I know you have been around and know that I subscribed to the Farmer's Daughter Fiber Sock Squad sock subscription. And for me, the colorways have been hit or miss, but I want to finish out the year just because some of them have been hits. And what if I stopped doing it and then the last few were hits and I missed out? <laughs> so I decided to finish it out through the year. So this is November's colorway. I hope you all received it. It is 80% Superwash BFL and 20% 20, 20 nylon. And this is the colorway Coneflower. And this is November's, November's colorway. And this is a deep purple. It's so pretty. Um, so I think this one was a hit. It's very, very pretty. So I'm glad I kept going. But I also found a new dyer that I was very much attracted to her colorways. And she has a sock subscription going on that's like a nature-inspired one. 
And so I thought, oh, I'm going to give that a try. I thought that it was just ongoing, and maybe it is, um, that it'll just travel, it'll carry on through next year, but I think it might end in December as well, so I'm glad I, I got in when I could. One of these is not part of the sock subscription, I just bought it because it's pretty. The other one is. So this is part of the subscription. I think this was either September or October. This is the colorway Canyon, and I, I might have showed this last episode, but I don't remember. And it's beautiful. I love it. This one I just bought because it's very pretty, and it is called Starling. And more purples. So these are both 80% merino and 20% nylon. So these are the two that I purchased from Palmer Yarn Company, and this is the logo. So I have one coming for, I don't know if it's November or, or October. Then I, oh, no, just kidding, it did come, I forgot. What's wrong with me? I think it was October's or November's. <laughs> I don't know what month. This is in the colorway fo foliage. Fol Foliage? How do you guys say that word? I always just said foliage. Fol but then I've heard people say foliage. <laughs> how, do you, how do you say this word? Foliage. Foliage. I've always said. How do you pronounce? Foliage. Foliage. I was right. Foliage. 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 Okay. In case you were wondering. Anyway, this is the... Oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. It's almost, you know, an alternative holiday, you know, take on red and green. So maybe this will be my Christmas socks, even though it's not a true red, it's more like a rust. It's beautiful. I want to have it now, but I have too many other things to do. If you love these earthy tones, Palmer, Palmer Yarn Co. Company is hitting the nail on the head for me. Then, gosh, my favorite, Kayla, who I also did order her advent this year again from the Naughty Pine. She had some extras, extra minis, and uh, I had to. Look at those. These are gonna be beautiful in my Battenberg. So I just had to do it. This one is Midnight, because obviously. This one is Deep Woods. Love me a good green, mossy, dark, moody green. So good. And this is Forest Floor. Accurate. Absolutely. Mm. So pretty. These are all 80% superwash, 20% nylon as well. <laughs> I've been doing a little shopping, I guess. Thank you to everyone who commented on the last video and sat through my journey through color work and it's not over. I'm going to be, you know, embarking on some more practice and hopefully a sweater. So um, thank you for watching that video and for commenting and sharing all your tips with me. I definitely appreciate those. A couple of you were posting about knitting inside out in small circumference color work and that that is helpful. I don't know what that means, so I'm going to look look it up because I can't wrap my head around what that even means. I don't know. But it sounds interesting and it sounds helpful, so I'm going to look it up. <laughs> On to the giveaway. I'm sure you guys are waiting like, hey, hello, who won? Let me tell you. Let's see here, I'm gonna put this in. Knit to ovation. Moving with the comments. Oh, 
Okay, the winner, Norma Glasscock. If you are her, that's your name, then please email me at pinecottagenits at gmail.com and send me your mailing address and I will mail a book, Mid-Ovation, out to you. I hope you love it because it's pretty great. I hope that you will meet me here in a couple weeks so I can talk more. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. Really helps out my channel. Hit that little like button and come back to see me. I love chatting with you and showing you all my makes. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye.